Welcome to QuickSuff Studio tutorial videos. In this video, I will show you how to perform a superimposition and how to perform a manual superimposition. So to start with, you need to have a patient record with at least two traced sessions. In this case, you can see in my initial session, there's a tracing. In my progress session, there's a tracing. A superimposition has to be two trace sessions or more. Um, keep in mind, you know, you could have an initial session and then a treatment session. You could superimpose that as well. But in this case, we have an initial and a progress. So before we can see the superimpositions, we need to create a comparison menu, uh, session. So come up to the session menu, click on new comparison. And now you have a comparison session. The superimpositions are shown in the tracings section while you have the comparison session selected. And you can see there's two sets of superimpositions, ones with a blue background and ones with a green background, and they look like they're duplicate sets of each other. Now the blue background superimpositions are all based off of your preferences. Under here, superimposition preferences. So the lateral superimposition is at landmark pterygoid, and it's parallel to line porion to orbital and so on. You know, we have this lateral superimposition, you have um, the frontal, if you do a frontal tracing, you can do the upper and lower jaw as well as the submenta vertex if you do those superimpositions. So all these follow your preferences, they're the blue ones, you don't really have a choice in that. On the left hand side here under comparison, if you did have multiple sessions, you could check on or off what sessions you want to compare. Now, often we get a call too where the superimpositions might not look the right size. In this case, you know our initial is black and our progress is blue, so we show the growth. Sometimes we'll get a support call that's saying the progress is smaller than the initial and they expect the progress to be larger. If that's the case, then one or both of the sessions is calibrated incorrectly. If, if it looks like your superimpositions are not the correct size, double check both of the previous sessions calibrations. If you need help with calibration, there's a tutorial video about calibrating x-rays right in the QuickSuff Studio tutorial videos website. These green superimpositions can be done manually. So what that means is I can select any one of these and we have all these different alignments that you can quickly copy from. You see if I'm choosing them, it's changing the alignment right away. But what's even you know, neater, in my opinion, is the ability to work like it's on a light table. So right here under Show X-ray, the top session initial is always going to be on the bottom. And then this is saying, what, what other X-ray do you want to put on top of it? We only have progress in this case. So if I choose progress, now it's putting the progress x-ray right on top. And you can see I can move this manually, just like I'm working on a light table. If I want to go by hinge axis, I can go line up the hinge axis. And then this is my rotation. I can rotate right around the hinge axis if I want to rotate it slightly. Okay. And when I'm done, I go back to none, and it will stick with that superimposition I left it. If you go back to showing an x-ray, you can also adjust the transparencies. So if I pull down both transparencies, it hides the x-rays and now I'm superimposing just tracing on tracing. If I go back and show the x-rays again, I can hide the tracing and now I'm superimposing x-ray on x-ray. This is the Bjork structural superimposition method. In our opinion, this is um, you know the most precise way to superimpose your x-rays because you're working on bony structure and not on a tracing, which the tracing may have some in, you know, in, inaccuracies. If you need help or if you've never done this bony method superimposition, under our help menu, we have the structural method superimposition guide. This is a guide that will give you the background details on what you're doing with this. In this guide, they explain how to do it using um, Adobe Illustrator, I believe, but you know, obviously you don't need to use that. You can use QuickSuff Studio and our superimposition features to do it much more simply. And let me give you one other example. Let's make a new treatment of our initial. That way now we have an initial, a progress, and a treatment. So now if we go to comparisons, you see now we're comparing initial and progress. Well, let's add treatment in there. 
So now we're comparing all three. Maybe if I just want to do initial and treatment, I can uncheck progress. Now it's just initial and treatment. But if I do have all three going and I go back to a manual one here, I can choose which x-ray. Now remember, initial is the top one. It's always going to be the bottommost x-ray. Now what do I want to place over that initial x-ray? I could place just the treatment x-ray over initial. Or I could place just the progress x-ray over initial. And that is how to do manual superimpositions with QuickSeph Studio. Now keep in mind, you can also add these manual superimpositions to one of your comparison galleries. We have these different superimposition galleries already built in, but you can create your own or edit these and change them around from the automatic superimpositions to using the manual superimpositions. And if you need more help with this, there's a tutorial video about editing a custom gallery. All right, if you need any help or have questions, please contact us, please email or call us. You'll find our contact information on the website. All right, thank you, bye.